In this video, we're going to be looking at the parts of a parabola. So the objectives are, by the end of this video, you should be able to recognize a shape called a parabola, find something called the vertex and axis of symmetry, and find the x and y axis intercepts of a parabola. So those are our three objectives for this video. Have you ever noticed the shape a ball makes when you throw it high in the air away from you? So if we were standing and we threw a ball, the ball would go up, arc, and then come back down. That shape that the ball makes when you throw it is called a parabola. Now sometimes you'll see parabolas in things called parabolic arches or inside of bridges. So you notice this is also a parabola right here. So it looks kind of like a U shape. It's curved. And there's two examples of parabola. One opening down and one opening up. So which of the following shapes would be a parabola? Go ahead and pause the video, work out out, and when you're ready to see the answer, please press play. The two examples that are parabolas would be ex number two and number four. So we look at the answer choices and we notice that C, only number two and number four are examples of parabolas. Again, they're curved shape. Now that you know the basic shape of a parabola, we're going to take a look at the vocabulary. So the vertex of a parabola is either the highest point or the lowest point on that U shape. So if we take a look at it, you'll notice that the parabola has a highest point right here. That will be the vertex. And you always write the vertex as a point. So this one is 1, 9. That's the vertex. In this case, our vertex is a highest point on the graph, so it's going to be called a maximum. So in this case, this vertex is a maximum. If our parabola opened up instead of opening down like this, then the vertex would be a minimum because it would be the lowest point. Here's a problem for you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, work out the problem, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. For this problem, you'll notice that the parabola opens up. So it the lowest point on the graph will be the vertex, and in this case, the vertex is a minimum and happens right here at negative 3, comma, negative 4. Notice you always list the x and then the y. So negative 3, negative 4, and it is a minimum. So D is the correct answer choice. Our next vocabulary word is an axis of symmetry. An axis of symmetry is just an imaginary line that splits the parabola into half. It creates two mirror images. So if we take a look at this parabola, the vertex is always in the middle of the parabola, so if we draw an imaginary line straight up and down through the vertex, it'll split that parabola exactly into half. Now, to write the equation of an axis of symmetry, notice that it passes through 1 on the x-axis, so the equation for that axis of symmetry is x is equal to 1. Here's one for you to try down below. Go ahead and press pause, work it out, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. So in this parabola, the vertex is right here, so that's the middle of the parabola. If we draw an imaginary line, I make it dash to show that it's not really part of the graph. You'll notice that it passes through negative 3 on the x-axis, so our axis of symmetry is x is equal to negative 3. Here's an application for the axis of symmetry. This one's a bit tricky. So you're given two points on the graph of a quadratic function are shown on the grid below. What is the equation of the axis of symmetry of the graph of this function? Wow. Okay, see if you can take what you already know about axis of symmetries, knowing that those two points have to be somewhere on that U-shape, and see if you can find the axis of symmetry yourself, pausing the video, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Since we know that the axis of symmetry has to be exactly in the middle of the parabola, all we need to do is find the middle of these two points. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. They're six apart, so we count three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. 
will land exactly in the middle. So it's just counting from each of those points. So x equals negative 1 is going to be our axis of symmetry. Here's one for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video and press play when you're ready to see the answer. If we count exactly in the middle between these two points, you'll notice 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 is exactly in the middle. So x equal positive 1 is our axis of symmetry. And here we have our last two vocabulary words, x-intercepts and y-intercepts. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So you'll notice the parabola crosses through the y-axis at the point 0, 8 because x is 0, y is 8. And the x-intercepts are where the graph crosses the x-axis. So they cross the x-axis at negative 2, the y value is 0, and they cross the x-axis at 4 with a y value of 0 as well. Here's one for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video and press play when you're ready to see the answer. So this one asks us to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercept of the parabola. Let's go ahead and label those. So our x-intercepts are going to be negative 5 comma 0 and negative 1 comma 0 and our y-intercept is going to be 0, 5. So this is our y-intercept because that's where it crosses the y-axis. These two are our x-intercepts because that's where they cross. Our x-intercepts are negative 5, 0, negative 1, 0. Oh, that works so far. And 0, 5, A has to be it. It's always a good idea to check your other answer choices, but you'll notice that all of them are off by just a little bit. So we have three objectives for this video that you could recognize a shape called a parabola, you could find the vertex and axis of symmetry of a parabola, and you could find the x and y axis intercepts of a parabola. If you can do those three things, then you have mastered the content of this video.